What is up? The Rings of Power season two just released yesterday. I completely forgot about it until like I just saw it on the trailer earlier today on the TV. I don't know how I forgot about it, but I am about to watch it. I just watched a recap of season one because it's been a couple years since that has came out and I almost forgot everything that I forgot I forgot about, if you know what I mean. But I'm excited for season two. I feel like I'm kind of caught up with the recap and not really. It was only three minutes long. Um, but yeah, let's go ahead and start this guys i'm gonna just film myself reacting to some of the things talk about it a little bit but here we go all right so the start of this does give another recap so hopefully after two recaps i'll kind of know what's happening kind of remember he was siron a little bit but i don't know oh there's me i'm excited totally forgot about this um storyline it was i remember it being kind of boring and a lot of rumors to who the guy could be like it being a Mithrandir I think that's how you pronounce it which is Gandalf I have no clue though I don't know hopefully they give more but make that story a little more interesting don't remember that okay I kind of remember that all right this is already starting crazy I don't know all like the lore I've read the Lord of the Rings a couple years ago I don't really remember much haven't read all his J.R. Tolkien's other stuff, but it seems like he's recruiting the orcs now. I guess I'd never thought about, I always thought the orcs were just with him. I didn't know he was recruiting them, but this is crazy. I did not know this. Is this is this pretty accurate with the books? Let me know in the comments. Well, that seemed pretty easy to convince him. All they had to do was kill one orc and they're like, all right, we're with him. Just kidding. Definitely saw that coming. Plus, that's not Sauron, is it? That's not the guy from season one. Now, I don't remember him. I must have needed a better recap because I don't remember half these people. Man, they all took turns like stabbing this guy like he is Julius Caesar. Dude's out. Can someone explain to me what just happened in this first scene? They kill the guy I guess was claiming to be Sauron. He dies. He nuclear bombs the place. They're still living. I feel like... <laughs> Who's that? What? Is this, isn't when like Sauron dies or like one of the lore people died, another one comes back in a different form? Is this is what's, is this what's happening? Like, where'd he go? Hold on. What's about to show? Oh, is this gonna be some like Harry Potter stuff where his soul lives on and he gets some horcruxes? Something's about to pop up. I'm gonna jump. What's happening? Oh, dang it. I knew it, his soul still lives. Okay, now he's giving me like a uh, Venom vibes, like he's like taking over Eddie Brock. Oh. So, okay, so that was like a prequel type thing. So what happened right before? All right, now, now I'm kind of getting it. Holy crap, we are 22 minutes in. And it is just now getting to like the theme title. What the heck? All right, so she just admitted that it was Sauron the whole time who the guy was who was revealed kind of at the end of the last season. But my question then at this point is how much did they know about Sauron? Did he already like try to take over? Was he already evil? I, honestly, I just don't know. Please let me know in the comments. So if someone that knows all the lore, please watch all these and help me with all my questions. Oh man, does he know that's him? He's looking like it. I do though like how the orcs are more practical effects and like makeup and stuff at least that's what it seems like where the hobbit was just straight up cgi i do like this a lot better it looks a lot better oh he's like moses he's like moses saying let my people go All right, so at this point, they, th they think they did kill Sauron, so they're like, that's not him, is it? And he's like, nah, it's not. It is. I'm kind of, I'm, that's kind of an intriguing storyline. I can't wait for that to play out. Mm. 
All right, so I have a couple questions about these elfin, elven rings. So in the Lord of the Ring movies, doesn't Galadriel have one of the rings? Like, so he wants to destroy him. Am I right? Galadriel has the ring, right? And Elrond has one of the other ones. Who has the third one? Or am I just losing it and they don't have one of the rings? Let me know in the comments. Oh, dang. They found them quick. Let me speak with him first. Man, so Elrond is actually smart, and this makes Galadriel just seem dumb. Or am I not getting this? Can you not see? All this may be by his design. I did what I felt was right. First, Galadriel is saying she didn't know Sauron was Sauron and let him go, so he's there because she let him go. Secondly, she's saying that the three rings don't have any power from Sauron, which I'm Sauron, which I'm pretty sure is completely wrong. Galadriel might just be, I know she's powerful, but she is deceived very easily in these, this TV show, I feel like. Definitely a different portrayal than Kate Blanchett's uh, Lord of the Rings, I'm guessing. I don't know. Am I, am I on to something here? I'm not going to lie, this storyline is the most boring out of all of them, but got kind of interesting. Who's following them? I honestly have no idea to who even guess. Wow, not interesting at all. He's about to get his sealed ward and fall in love with the rings. Don't do it, man. Oh, oh, Zaron. Oh, he's going to have the rings. He sealed ordered it. Could have killed it right there, but he didn't. Man, she's getting a sealed door too. Man. Man, why don't they just all listen to Elrond? He's clearly the wisest one. No one listens to the guy who's always right. The tree's coming back to life, though. That's some false hope. Sauron's about to use that power to get your trust, and boom, you're dead. Oh, shoot. Sauron's going back to the Reinforger guy. Do they know he's Sauron yet? And it is over episode one. So my first thoughts from episode one of Rings of Power were it wasn't bad. It had some good moments, some bad moments. It had um, kind of like a prequel almost of how Sauron was, I guess, recruiting orcs at the beginning. It then went on to, I think, Gandalf and the girl. Honestly, their storyline isn't intriguing to me yet. Um, but the rest of it, they know um, Galadriel lets them go. El a Elrond, oh my God, tried to destroy the rings. Um... Once again, just like he did in the Fellowship of the Ring, no one listened to him, and now they have the power. Obviously, um, what's his face? Um, Sauron had his hand in those. Something's gonna bad. Something bad's gonna happen. Obviously, with all those, well, it does because we've seen Lord of the Rings, which I have my poster over there. But yeah, let me know what you thought of this first episode. Um, it was an hour sixteen. It was a little long. I, I'm too ADHD for these long episodes. Um, but let me know what you thought about those in the comments. If you would like me to do the rest of the season, let me know that in the comments as well. And if there's any other TV shows or movies you'd like me to do this with, let me know those in the comments as well. Please hit that subscribe button. Just, yeah, please. That's all I got. Peace.